Sportsman's Table. Brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Remember, by South Carolina, it's a matter of taste. Well, folks, this week we're at the International Culinary Institute here in Myrtle Beach, and joining me is a former graduate, and he is now the proud owner of the Warehouse Restaurant in Conway. Listen, I tell you what, Executive Chef Eston McDowell. Eston, thanks, man. Appreciate you having me well, on. Well, listen, thank, you know, I tell you what, it's always great to have former students and now see folks do good. You got some tuna for us this week. I do. What do you got? We're going to do a taste of summer salad and uh, it's kind of become one of our staples over the warehouse. And what it is, um, because it's summertime, we like to do, you know, fresh produce. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. It's been a lot of fun so far. A lot of people are coming and eating it up. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a uh, cucumber, tomato, and Clemson blue cheese. Um, and what we do is we do a spicy pickle brine slaw that's a red wine pickle brine. Awesome. So we're going to do that slaw over top of it and then sear the tuna and put it over top of it. All right, man. Quick. Well, let's get so, started. I can't wait. All right. So what we're going to do here. Layer down. Yeah, there you go. And folks, if you want a copy of Eston's recipe, just log on to BobRedfern.com. Okay. Click on the sportsman's table. It'll be right there. I like to hit it with a little bit of blackening just to give it that little extra oomph. Yeah, okay. We've got some fresh local tomatoes from here. Always certified SC. Mm. And what we're going to do is just hit that nicely with some cheese. Mm. And that's blue cheese, right? Yes, this is a Clemson blue cheese. Clemson blue cheese. Mm. Okay. Then what we're going to do now is take a little bit of this slaw and just lay it over the top. Oh, man, that's awesome. Great colors, too. You know, I know it's about presentation. It is about presentation, yeah. but I think it's more about that taste. I like well, that, that crisp You're crunch right. into it. No, yeah, it's so good. I mean, when the when the waiter brings it out, that's right. Ah, it's that aha moment. Okay. Then what we're gonna do real quick is just sear this. Now, minute two each side. I like to do. For? Actually, we like to serve it mid wear at the warehouse. So what we do, we do about 35 to 45 seconds on each side. Right. Give it a real good. Let that blackening sauce get just really good and seared on. Okay. It. And folks, also the, the blackening sauce that he's referring to is, of course, the rub, as we all know, on the fish. Uh, and he'll have that on the recipe as well. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Ooh, and it doesn't take long. No, it's a very, very quick, very quick cook time. Mm. Um, we do encourage you, if you do follow the recipe and cook the, uh, the pickle brine at your house, right. we do encourage you to let it pickle overnight and okay. serve it the next day, oh, just to get fine. all that flavor in that's there. That's awesome. This is a quick dish. Man, no wonder folks like it at the restaurant. That's yeah. right. It's, it, it does. It comes out very, very quick. What we're going to do is we're just going to cut this real quick. Okay. All right, Eston, man, we're ready to plate. Ooh. Yeah, and what we, what we do here, like I said, we, we really encourage you to kind of get that mid-rare. Oh, I got you. Yeah. But uh, what we're going to do is just lay it over top of the salad here. Mm, great. Mm -mm. What yeah. we like to do is this brine has a really, really good flavor. So what we like to finish it off with is kind of use this as the dressing of the salad itself. Oh, yeah. And just hit that spicy brine over top of it. And now, is this mostly eaten as an entree or before you know, dinner? You know, it's kind of funny. We do a lot of both. We have a lot of customers that really enjoy it as an appetizer. Awesome. And, uh, you know, a lot of the ladies that are coming into the warehouse are really yeah. starting to enjoy it as, as entrees. You well, know? Listen, so, and, it's, and it's fresh. And it is. It's it as is. fresh as Absolutely. it gets. And it's so much fun Thank to cook. You. So, well, the warehouse, congratulations in Conway, Eston. And listen, folks, if you want more great food like this on your visit to Myrtle Beach, log on to certifiedscgrown.com and see what's fresh on the menu for yourself. We'll be right back here again next week with another great recipe on the Sportsman's Table. If you would like more information on South Carolina-grown products, visit them online at certifiedscgrown.com. Remember, buy South Carolina. It's a matter of taste.